You know, going back to the video about season 6B, where we got the trailer <laughs> starting off with Karen telling Andy, I'm afraid of going through this alone. And it's like people are just calling her out. I mean, I've already said in a video and post that I have zero remorse, no sympathy at all for Karen in this situation because she did it to herself. Hey, it takes two to get pregnant. I'm not, I'm not calling her out on that. But I mean, in terms of ending up alone, that has been her entire thing she has been pushing everyone away because she wants to be back with zach despite the fact that it's incredibly obvious painfully obvious that this man has moved on he don't want you no more he don't want to be with you no more yeah his outburst at the salon and all that stuff yet yeah, does that makes things complicated but in terms of even before that like seasons four and five and whatnot He's moved on. So I just really feel like at this point, Karen is going to be walking around going from friend to friend. And I say friend loosely because with all the times Karen has lashed out or kicked her friends out of her apartment and just this, that, and the third. Hey, don't call me no more. Don't, don't call me no more. Don't come by my house no more. I don't want to see you no more. And then you have Aaron. And yes, I know the dude, Shady. Uh, what's the dude, what's the girl's name? Was it Jennifer? Gen Jennifer, the girl that came by the salon and laid him out. Even I feel like, even though, you know, Aaron is kind of shady and I don't fully trust the guy. I don't think Jennifer came into play until like seasons, maybe four or five, you know, like season two, when him and Karen were literally going out, I feel like he was a, you know, honest guy at that time. He wasn't messing around with anybody behind Karen's back. But when it comes to like, you know, the seasons past where he's constantly trying to prove he's a better man than Zach. And then, you know, Karen just keeps giving Aaron the cold shoulder or rightfully telling him she needs space. But he just refuses to respect that doing everything he can to prove he's a good guy. And then he just keeps getting friend zone and whatnot. He's going to just opt to go and um, try to get with another girl. But in any case, now you have Karen claiming that the paperwork says Zach is the father I feel like this is going to push Aaron away once and for all and then with Zach not coming back to her she's going to be like I don't want to go through this alone and it's like and then Aaron I mean Andy just you know what you don't have to go through it alone we got you and it's like stop coddling her she's an adult she needs to stop acting like a baby and um it just gets to the point where all the characters she's laid out are gone off on now Karen's going to try to act all pitiful like she's a victim almost in a sense of you know Zach is the father and he doesn't care about me and this that and it's like well look at everything you've put him through I mean yeah he's put you through stuff during the relationship but you're giving him hell during the aftermath of that so it just seems to me like you have no reason to act like a victim because Karen everybody who's tried to be there for you everybody who's tried to look out for your baby because of your stress and whatnot you've literally just laid them out on more than one occasion so now that you've quote unquote calmed down now you want to act all sorry and want somebody to you know sympathize with you but that's not going to happen and then for those who are like oh that's the pregnancy and her emotional flood she was like that before because if you go back to the earlier seasons she has always been like a nobody's ever on my side and this that and the third that's always how she's been i mean that's how she's always been but when it comes to a situation like this no you just you've acted a fool you pulled out a gun well once in the daydream and shot fatima and then the other you had the gun when well then again yeah, i mean yeah fatima did bust up in your place even though the door wasn't locked but still she busted up into your place so yeah she had every right to have that gun but um just looking to kill someone is just ridiculous then you know, just going off on Pam and Aaron all these times and then her friends. It's just one of those things where don't no, Nobody feels sorry for you. You are not a victim in this, Karen. Let it go. And then to because the minute, you know, she stops acting. Well, the minute she pulls out the sympathy card and finally gets some from somebody, she's going to go right back to being a bitch. That's literally how it works with Karen. And you can't tell me otherwise. The proof is in the previous season. So. Yeah, Karen ain't a victim. I can see her now calling her mom or something, but then failing to acknowledge the fact that she's caused a lot of hell. Like, I could literally see her now calling Miss Lisa and then talking about, Aaron left me or something like that. And it's like, well, did you tell Aaron that 
you showed him documents that uh, quote unquote reveal that Zach is the father. I mean, you mentioned, I mean, she might mention the fact that there was this other girl at the salon that was arguing with him outside, but, and then Aaron revealed that he's been seeing, yeah, Aaron, he's been seeing someone behind my back. But will you mention to your mom all the times you push Aaron away because you decided to pursue Zach? This is just like when her mom showed up and then Fatima put Karen on blast about, you know, calling her out of her name, showing up at her uh, her and Zach's house unannounced. And then when Miss Lisa's like, wait, you've been doing that? Karen will just, no, 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 I ain't listening to this. Get out of my house. That's exactly what's going to happen. She's going to go around acting like a pitiful puppy. But then the moment someone calls her out on her bullcrap, like let's say if Danny says, well, Karen, I understand you don't want to be alone, but what was with that whole empty envelope trick when you wanted Zach to pick it up? Nope, get out, get out. That's what she does. She's the Karen that cried baby daddy, not the boy who cried wolf, but you get what I'm saying. Basically, she's going to act like she's the victim. I'm hurt. I'm scared. Yet everybody's going to be like, oh, it'll be okay. But then that one person is going to be like, well, Karen, I don't know about this. Like, I don't want to hear that. I want to be pitied. That's exactly how things are going to go. And she deserves no pity whatsoever. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.